Uh, Pete and I are, are at the American Monetary Institute conference in Chicago again this year, and uh, uh, it's been a very interesting conference, and uh, we were fortunate enough to meet uh, Professor Kaori, Kaoru Yamaguchi, who is the, uh, uh, from Doshisha University in Kyoto, Japan. So, Professor, if you would, could you just explain, you know, briefly the, the, the work that's ongoing at your school? Yes. <coughs> My university is uh, the, the second oldest uh, university in Japan, but we started the uh, MBA program recently, about five years ago. And last year, we uh, added the uh, English MBA program. And one of the main subject of our English MBA program is Green MBA uh, program, and which I I am a, a director, and I'm creating a new sustainable business uh, MBA program and monetary reform uh, or a new debt-free money system could be the, one of the main features which we want to teach as a part of the sustainable business. I have been working on system dynamics macroeconomic modeling, modeling for the last almost five, uh, five or six years. And after the financial crisis, I thought I have to rethink about the uh, macroeconomic structure which create uh, financial crisis as well as uh, accumulation of debt. So I, I happened to encounter the, uh, Stephen Zarenga's book, Lost Science of Money, and it attracted me a lot. And I decided to, to implement the con three conditions of monetary reform into my macro model and how the macro uh, model behaves. I was very curious myself, mm -hmm. and I created the model, and uh, I finished my simulation a couple uh, months ago, and it turned out to be very fascinating result. First of all, if we uh, adopt uh, American Monetary Act, uh, we can reduce the uh, government debt, and uh, we can attain the higher economic growth. So. That means just by changing the uh, macroeconomic structures from debt uh, 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 mac, uh, system of uh, debt into the debt-free money, we can solve many economic problems we are facing, like crisis and uh, uh, debt issues and uh, growth issues. Uh -huh. So it turned out to be a very fascinating uh, ideas. Okay. And I am convinced by learning my simulation models. Uh -huh. That's how I am very pleased to present my result at this conference yeah. in Chicago. Can you just also, if you don't mind, explain um, how uh, within your multidisciplinary, as you were explaining mm. it to us, approach uh, and, and the, you know, the modeling group, if you will, you know, how they uh, you know, looked at, at the process and, and the results? Well, the uh, System Dynamic Society is an uh, interdisciplinary uh, research group. Uh, it contains many specialists with different backgrounds, like engineers, business people, economists, ecologists, psychologists. And I presented my result at the plenary session of the uh, uh, System Dynamic, Dynamic Society conference two months ago in Seoul. Um, but uh, there are not so many group of economists. And I talked to his uh, uh, economist group about my model, and basically they really uh, are supportive of my result. The, does it model the effects on inflation? Does it model the effects on employment and those kinds of things, yes. Professor? Well, yes. Once uh, government uh, gets the right to print money, the people are afraid of uh, uh, inflation. Yeah. So I carefully checked whether uh, the American Monetary Act can really uh, reduce, uh, create inflation. And uh, what I found is as long as our economy is under uh, recessions, so that there will be a, we call it GDP gap. D GDP gap is a gap between the potential uh, level of uh, GDP and the current level of aggregate demand. As long as we have a GDP gap, government can uh, continue to print money and put into circulation to simulate the economy without causing inflation. So the, mod the simulation model really proved there will be no fear of inflation. And still we can simulate the economy. So that's the best solutions. Right. Well, it, but it sounded like, from listening mm. to that, 
that as long as we had the unused resources and we didn't have the aggregate demand that matched up to the potential for GDP, mm -hmm. it was going to be good. But but what might happen? If, you know, once yes. we were at full employment, if you that's were, right. If inflation is above certain levels or below uh, certain negative levels, or that means inflationary or deflationary, right. the head of the uh, central bank, which I like to call the public money administration, because there will be no central bank anymore. No public, so public money, public money administration, that's what I call it, yeah. because money have to be the public money, right. so the, the government have to administrate the public money. So the head of the public money administration have to step down, and the new uh, leader have to take care of the uh, monetary control. So that have to be done by law. Right. So Can you just give me you know, your view as to how this monetary system change fits in with the idea of you know, the sustainable economy <coughs> and, and you know, the need for mm. uh, concern about you know, ecology and resource mm -hmm. and, and, and those kinds of yes. things. Well, the current uh, macroeconomic system of uh, uh, money as debt uh, create many uh, conditions. For instance, even though government want to stimulate the economy, they have to borrow money. And when they borrow money, they have to accumulate this debt. So those, uh, you, you, those are the now constraints. Uh, uh, so if we have a debt-free money, the government uh, have a free hand to uh, control the uh, uh, economy. At the same time, under the current uh, macroeconomic system of money as debt, the interest is always uh, forced to be paid. And producers are uh, destined to borrow money because they are always running out of funds, so they are forced to raise funds. But whenever they borrow money, they have to pay the interest rate, right. interest. So that means they are in a position to uh, be forced to grow at the risk of environment. So under the debt-free money systems, producers need not to uh, worry about the interest. So they, are more, they can be more uh, conscious of uh, environmental issues. Right. right. So, so in that sense, uh, debt free money system is really uh, uh, is the only macroeconomic system to attain the sustainable future. That's what I believe. Okay. okay. Uh, my macroeconomic simulation model uh, can be done by anyone. And it is just value neutral uh, simulation model. So those who uh, play my simulation and get convinced they probably uh, will support a debt-free money system, whether they are Republicans or Democrats or the Green parties. We have to change the current uh, 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 system, system design failure. But the uh, real issue is now the, the battle of ideas, whether the, we can still uh, rely on the neoclassical market fundamentalist ideas or the Keynesian regulated uh, policies. But debt-free money is not included in one of all schools. So, so we are, in a sense, presenting an alternative view of economic theories, which can never be uh, developed by economic, economists so far. So in this sense, uh, uh, this can be the new, new framework which have to be challenged by all, ec all economists. Oh, very good. Yeah. Oh, very good. And my simulation model is uh, easily understood by any economist, and they can, they can learn simulation and they try to commit by themselves. Uh, my model is free, and uh, I'm providing to my model to anyone, and the software is also free, so anyone who can download free and uh, learn simulation by themselves, my model consists of step by step. So starting with uh, how money is created, then how interest uh, rate affects the distribution, then we bring the production side, and finally, we open up our macro model to the foreign sector. So in this way, step by step, they can learn the uh, macro models. And they bring the, the conditions of uh, American Monetary Act and see how behavior will be changed. So it could be an interesting learning process. Very good. 
Very good. Well, Professor, I want to thank you very much for sitting down with Peter and I. And thank you very much for the opportunity, and I really uh, enjoy watching you <laughs> this series. And <laughs> finally, I met the real person to have a good interview. Thank, thank you, you. And thank very you. much to you. And very much to you. <laughs>